If you love go-karts, then this is the BeamNG mod for you. It's Kartland, a karting map with eight go-kart courses. We're going to be trying this out today. This is a mod by Naxtiel, who also created the Backyard Kart. And here's an example here in a cute Ibishu Hopper body. Look at that, it's so cool. I'm also going to be checking out this model. This is called the Autobello Formula Kart Classic. It's a go-kart that many Formula One legends trained on. But first of all, I think we should try the Backyard Kart. So we need this is the 350cc one. And it's in the Abishu Hopper body. Okay, we just gone to the track. Wait for the AI to come round. Yes, AI does work on this course. It's so cool. Whoa! Okay, whoa, we're a sequential gearbox, actually. So, there are four real-life courses and then four custom ones that have been inspired by other courses around the world. But this is, I believe, called Lentola, which is a course in Finland. Oh my goodness, this thing is an absolute beast to handle. The backyard car is just absolutely crazy. And, whoa, it's got a dummy inside, as you can see. Dummy, I can't go! Oh, I can't see! Get back in the interior cockpit view, okay. So use my Logitech G27 and a truck IR so I can look around a little bit. Um, what a course this is, and what a machine this is. So, you can actually take the body off, and underneath you've got a very nicely detailed backyard car, and that's basically something um, the creator of the mod, like in the 90s, made a custom go-kart from like scrap metal, and a moped engine, or like a, I guess you can make them from a lawnmower engine, engine as well. But um, this is really something that's been created in real life, which is just crazy. Okay, here we go. Now with this thing, we can actually catch up with the Formula Go-Kart pretty easily. Uh, you need to change up gears pretty quickly though. Sixth gear, it only has six gears, there you go. Top speed of about 60 miles per hour in this thing. It's very loud, that Formula Go-Kart as well, whereas this is quite a subdued sort of engine noise. Whoa, it's absolutely drift king though. Oh my goodness. Right, I, <laughs> I think I need to go for the Formula Go-Kart, which is much easier to drive. Okay, so here we go. By the way, to set the AI going, all you need to do is click random and they will drive around the track of your choice. So, this has just one gear, it's a CVT. Here we go. We're gonna turn right onto the track and get this thing going. So it's very slow to start up. You can see we've got a sort of a, is it a petrol can down there or an oil can? I don't really know. It wobbles about as you drive, but this thing has so much grip. I need to adjust my view a bit. Hey, there you go. Whoa, and you can go into a, a corner at pretty much any speed and just get straight round it. Absolutely no fuss, it just does it. Okay, brake a little bit. You don't really need to use the brakes that much. And I think they're actually rear only brakes on this thing. So you do end up sliding quite a bit, but there you go. Oh, it is crazy. They've got nice looking kind of metal pedals down there. There's someone behind me, I think. I don't know where they are. Whoa. So we're going to check out all of the eight courses. We're going to do one more little lap around here and then check out the next one. So yeah, an awesome, awesome map and mod combination. You've got to go and check them out from the links. Whoa, in the description. Now, if you go off the track, oh, you, are get, you get stuck. You cannot get off the grass. You have to press F7. There you go. And free cam view. Go. Why are you so slow? Go! No! We're still stuck on the grass! Okay, come on. Go! Yay! It's so slow when we get set off. But yeah, the AI kind of drive around really nicely, which is awesome. Oh dear, that guy's got stuck in the grass. Haha! <laughs> See you later! Okay. I do love go-karts. I used to go go-karting a lot. Um, whoa! There was a place, whoa, relatively near me that unfortunately closed down. Oh dear, but I do suck. Okay, um, so I haven't been go karting in probably 10 years, but let's move over to the next course. Okay, so this course is called Osona, and this is a real course in Spain. I do like that all of the courses are named with like signs, and it's really, really cool. So let's try out this very flat, but interesting go-kart course. Right then, onto the track. Now you can't actually do like proper races, but you can do time trials on this map. When you go to the map screen, there are time trials, which is great. Okay, here we go. So a very, very flat course. There's just a slight dip here, but then the rest of the course is totally flat. So it makes it a little bit easier to see where the corners are. You can't actually change any of the layouts, but um, they are all pretty cool. And to have eight different go-kart tracks in one map is awesome. So the creator of this mod, I think they're called Nackstiel. Um, they created this map to test the backyard cart. They actually made the backyard cart, so they made a map for the car mod that they brought to BeamNG. That is really cool. Here we go. Now there aren't many go-kart courses available for BeamNG, but to have eight all in one, that's awesome. We finally got some great go-kart courses in this game, and I can't imagine how much fun this would be in BeamMP. So they seem to be driving around quite well. 
AI are doing a good job. I'm sure it'll be more competitive in multiplayer. Here we go. There you go, over the finish line. So it's not actually that long of a course, this Osana, but really cool. Now, there are some indoor tracks later on, so we've got to check those out. So this is a fictional course called Decora. It's a very, very long track, and it goes around these buildings over here and then a cool, windy, open section further down. So let's get this show on the road. It's really slow to start up. I'm definitely going to try the backyard cart again because there's some crazy variants of that, including some electric ones. But here we go. So the steering is very tight. You feel very connected. There's good force feedback with this cart mod. Um, I do prefer driving this to the backyard cart just because it's a little bit easier. It's more like the kind of go-karts you find um, at like a... somewhere you can actually rent out a go-kart. You know, the other one is more like something that's almost built in a shed. So it's not very precise, very hard to handle, but here we go. So there's a brick wall there, don't want to hit that. Round here, whoa! And here we are onto the more open bit of the course. Now, I used to play a lot of Gran Turismo 5 and 6, and they had a lot of go-karts in that game. Um, and courses just like this, which really takes me back. Whoa! Okay, good grip, good grip, not too much understeer. And that engine noise, it's so loud. So yeah, like back in the 80s, Michael Schumacher, um, Ayrton Senna, they kind of started their racing careers with these sort of go-karts, and this is where they got all their skill and their, you know, practice from. Whoa, 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 whoa. And also, um, more recently, like Lewis Hamilton, I guess, trained on something like this and was very successful in kart racing. So here we go! Oh, he's crashed, he's crashed, here we go. Look at these brick walls, wow, they've all crashed. Okay, so some of the courses the AI aren't great on. Oh dear. Oh, what happened there? Yay! That mean, I think that means we won. If this were a race, I think that means we've won. And what is that? That must be a part of a... That, yeah, that's a part of one of the go-karts. What the heck? So this one is called go Tune. Now, this isn't a real karting course, but I think it's set in South Korea. So, let's have a go at this. Here we go. Obviously, the slow start-up. Next time, we will try a backyard kart. Um, look at this course. It's on two different levels. We're going to have to go up and then back down. Oh yeah, but I like this course a lot. It's nice and flat. It's very easy to see the corners. And we're going up here. And this car just has enough power to... Whoa, whoa! Accelerate up the hills. Okay, yeah. Looks like they've crashed. So if the map creator's watching, maybe um, they can let us know about the AI, if, it, if this is intended or they're even meant to drive around. I just tested it out and they seem to work on some of the courses. Again, we've got a weird skyscraper of glitchiness. Um, but, you know, it's a miracle really that they're working at all. I find it very difficult to get AI to work on some of the racetracks, even in the Manila game. So here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Did we just do a lap? I think we did. So it's pretty short, but very fun. Like a roller coaster. Actually, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, you could build your own go kart course, which is just so cool. Okay, so this is Go Park. Now, this is a real go kart course in Italy. It's in a massive, what looks like aircraft hangar. Now, unfortunately, the AI doesn't work in here. This is the first indoor course we're going to be trying, though, so I've got to check it out. Now, we're going to go in this Covet electric uh, go kart. Look at this. Really cool. Part of the backyard kart mod. Here we go. So, first person view is a bit weird, it's kind of attached to the head of the dummy. And he sort of sways back and forth, but there you go. Really good regen on the oh electric motor here, so we don't even have to brake. Wow, it's tight around here. Okay, right, here we go. Have we got any lights? Uh, not entirely sure. I don't think we do. Let's have a look. N. No. Ah, oh, that'd be cool though, wouldn't it? So I don't really know why they included these bodies, but it's really cool. Do people do- Oh! Do people do this in real life? Do they put, like, car bodies on top of go-karts to make them look even cooler? Oh my goodness. The turning circle isn't great. Uh, where do I go? Is this the pit? Now this looks like the pit. So that's kind of cool. What the- Where are we going? Can we fit through there? Um, that's the tightest gap in the world. Oh, we just made it through. Nice. I think I went into the pit lane accidentally, but there you go. Whoa! So it's got tiny, tiny wheels on here. Um, making it very, whoa, very hard to keep control of once you've, whoa, once you've lost grip. Oh, hang on a minute, just keep accelerating, it kind of drifts. That's funny. Whoa! Oh my, did you see that? It's like a shopping cart, not a go-kart. Go oh my goodness. Whoa! 
This is so much fun. You've got to try this. This is one of the best mod combinations I think I've ever... Whoa! Fun for this game. Then this is Green Karting, which is in Echi Rolles in France. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. It's another indoor go-kart course. Um, it looks like it's in some kind of warehouse, which is pretty cool. Again, AI doesn't work in here, but that's fine. Let's try it out with the Auto Bello go-kart. So here we go. Whoa, this thing is crazy. So what kind of engine this has? I think I might have like a 250cc, which is pretty big for a go-kart. Um, well, go-karts have come a long way since then. They've got much bigger engines, some of them now. And they can go like 100 miles per hour nearly, which is crazy. There are actually a lot of go-karting games out there, like racing simulation games. If you'd like to see me try one, maybe like Kartcraft or something, let me know in the comments. Um, I've got a few of them and I've never tried them on the channel, so it could be cool. Here we go, up the hill. Not too fast, not much power to get up there, but that's fine. I mean, these things have probably got like 10 pound feet of torque or something. Barely anything. Whoa, almost flipped over there. The wheel was coming off the ground. And then down here, whoa, oh my goodness. Whoa, this is so much fun. So here's the pit lane. We're not going to go in there again. And across the line. There it is. Wow. Awesome little track. So this one's called Mapping and it's set in Utah. Now before we get onto this, look at this. There's actually signposts telling you where to go for which course. Isn't that awesome? So this set in Utah, pretty cool. It's got some of the Utah like objects and textures. Let's have a go driving around here. So we're on multi levels again. Whoa. Oh my goodness, he nearly hit us. Right. So here we go. And now we're back in the Auto Bello and I do find it easier, but Look at how cool that is, that Ibishu Hopper in front of us. With the guy in it, the dummy inside, whoa! It'd be cool if you could fit the dummy to this cart mod. Maybe you can, I'm not too sure, I haven't worked out a way to do it. So, they do seem to drive better on the outdoor, more open courses than the, uh-oh, than the indoor ones. No, go! Oh, no talk at all. So getting, oh, someone flipped over. Getting this thing started is pretty difficult, wow. Literally like a slalom there to get through those two, okay down here pretty fast for some reason the um whoa whoa that was our first crash i think for some reason the speedometer doesn't show in the ui which is a bit strange but that's okay oh yeah this is awesome actually third person does make it a little bit easier here we go let's see if we can dodge we're gonna go around the left there we go nice and you can customize the color of this thing so i've made some yellow and green but this is just a standard red i think in my mind go-karts should always be red right here we go, and across the line. Oh yeah, so one more course to go. Let's check it out. Okay, the final one, Bemidji Karting, which looks like, I don't know, is that a name for a snake or something? Anyway, this is a very simple oval course with a chicane in the middle. Let's have a go at it. So we're in the Sport IRS, which is a version of the backyard car which is designed for the road. Now it's not going very well so far. Here we go, go. Wow, it's slow, oh my goodness. That's first gear. Okay, people have crashed. <laughs> oh dear. I know, you know, crashing is something that does happen in karting, but they do seem to crash a lot on here. That's just the floor of the AI. Wow, this is actually... I think they've made it suitable for the road by making it like 10 times slower. Yeah, but we may actually do a clean lap here, which is cool. Look at it in this tiny little covet body. This is the... Um, oh, what do they call it? Oh, it's the MR Turbo. Oh, covet. Which is... Uh, whoa! Came out in that update a few updates ago. There you go. Pretty cool. So that is... Oh! That is Kartland. An awesome group of karting tracks. There's eight in total. And I've also checked out the Backyard Kart and the Auto Bello Kart Classic. So go and check out the mods from the links in the description. An amazing track. Maybe we should get together and do some kind of multiplayer session with this at some point. That'd be awesome. Look, I'm being caught up. This thing is super slow. The slowest kart we've driven today. But there you go. Look at him. He's off. If you want to see some more VMNG, click the video on screen right now. Whoa, I think you'll enjoy it a lot. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you soon for some more Simulator Adventures.